welcome to the Indiana Behavior Association Cease and Desist podcast training series where we bring you short videos on topics specific to behavior consultants in the field. Whether you're a new BC or you're someone looking for a refresher, we hope you'll find this information helpful and help you to better serve your individuals. Today we're going to be talking about deadlines. No matter how well you do your job as a behavior consultant, a consistent struggle for many BCs are the deadlines. We all have labor rules and regulations to follow and specific deadlines for certain things, such as the FBA, the BSP, and quarterly reports. So let's get started with the very first item, the FBA. The FBA is due in 45 days. Day one is generally considered your first date of service with your individual. And this is the first time that you'll be billing for this person and it starts the clock on your FBA. Is 45 days an easy deadline to make? Probably not so much, but it is a challenge that has to be met. You need to get the assessments into the hands of the people that know your individual best and get those results back quickly. Determine what the behaviors are that you need to be working on and get to writing. You may be a BC that struggles with wanting everything to be perfect, but trust me, the first time it probably won't be. So remember, you can always go back and make updates and changes throughout the year if necessary. The next deadline that will be important for you to meet is the behavior plan. The behavior plan is due in 60 days. It's not 60 days from the FBA. It is actually 60 days from the first date of service. So once you've completed the FBA, you now have 15 days to write the behavior plan. Now that your FBA is done, that's really half the battle. Now you can get your strategies in place. You need the plan signed by level one and HRC if needed, all within that 60 days. The next deadline is your behavior plan training. This is really just going to be due once the behavior plan's ready to go. So you need to get your training scheduled as soon as the plan is finished. Quarterly reports. This is important to show progress throughout the year on behaviors with your individuals. You're able to show if things are improving or things getting worse, what you're doing with the person to try to help uh, with their behaviors. And this is really important to your team. A quarterly report is due quarterly and that is based on the service authorization. So if your service authorization starts January 1, then your first quarter is January, February, and March. And your first quarterly report is due April 15th. Those are your primary deadlines. Make sure to write them down, but also commit them to memory. Thank you for watching. Feel free to leave comments below and provide other strategies that you may know of that would help behavior consultants. Thank you.